Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take another brief look at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Now in this particular video, however, Vinny Jr. and I are going to go ahead and play a game. Um, we haven't played too many, so it's not going to be perfect, but we're just aiming to have fun. If you see anything that we did wrong, feel free to leave a comment in the below description so that we can learn from that experience. With that being said, uh, I'll be sporting the Rebel Alliance, and Vinny will be sporting the Imperials. So, let the best man win. Alright, and I should probably note right off the bat that um, I've never done this before, so the lighting may be a bit off. I apologize. This isn't going to be exactly quality video here, but I'll do my best. As far as what I have going on here, I've got Wedge and Tillies and Dutch Vander. Attached to Wedge and Tillies, I have a Proton Torpedoes upgrade and the R2-D2 upgrade. Attached to Dutch Vander, I have two Proton Torpedo cards, the Ion Cannon Turret, and the R5-K6. If you're unfamiliar with these upgrade cards, check out my other videos. I go over these cards in detail there. As far as Vinny's Imperial Fleet is concerned, he has a TIE Fighter here. This is Night Beast. Over here, we have Sunter Fell and the TIE Interceptor. And we have Major Rhymer, I believe that's how you pronounce it, in this TIE Bomber. The TIE Bomber has two upgrade cards, the Concussion Missiles and the Marksmanship Upgrade. Now, uh, it's worth noting that we both agreed on a 75-point cap for this particular game. Both of us have reached uh, 75 points exactly with this current setup. Okay, we've already uh, picked our maneuvers for this round uh, off-camera. We have our maneuver dials face down in front of their respective ships. And we'll resolve them in order of pilot skill, starting with the lowest. Let's see, you have Night Beast, which is the lowest, so you can go ahead and resolve Night Beast first. Now he is going to go ahead and move three forward. Alright, so here's your three template. Very good. And because we're so far away, I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off here and resolve the rest of them. Alright, we've went ahead and moved them. Uh, because they are out of range from each other, they obviously can't attack, so we're going to skip that. Um, there's no other actions that would be performed at this time, so we're going to go ahead and jump to the next phase. Again, this is the movement phase. We have went ahead and locked our dials in here. Go ahead and put your wheels next to who they should be. Here's your TIE Bomber. There's your TIE Interceptor, and your TIE Fighter. Alright, now once again, movement is resolved uh, in order of pilot skill, starting with the lowest. That would be Night Beast. Alright, so what do you got going there? You've got a two straight ahead, so let's go ahead and get that. Alright, now because you initiated a green maneuver, what does your card say? It says, after tuning a green maneuver, you may perform a free focus action. Alright, so you get a free focus action, plus you can take an action, extra action on top of that. Normally, um, after you perform a movement, you get a uh, action, so as long as you're not stressed. And Night Beast's ability is, um, after performing a green maneuver, he gets a free focus. So you've got a free focus coming. And evade. And you're going to choose an evade. Alright, so that's one down. Next up on the list is Dutch Vander. He has a pilot skill of six, so let's go ahead and move him. I've got him moving three ahead. That's a white maneuver. Okay. Now, for my action, I will go ahead and um, his special ability is, uh, after acquiring a target lock, choose another friendly ship at range 1 or 2. The chosen ship may immediately acquire a target lock. Let me see. I believe I am in range. Yes. So if I acquire a target lock, which is what I'm going to do with Dutch Vander, I can go ahead and acquire a target lock um, with Wedge and Tillies. At least that's how I'm reading it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some of these target lock icons out. Alright, now I went ahead and placed some of these target lock icons down. We've got a blue A and a red A and a blue G and a red G here. So we've got two target locks. And just to make sure that this is valid, um, these 
ships are within range of each other, so I believe this X-Wing would then be allowed to target that. I don't know about um, whether or not the X-Wing would be able to target outside of its range in regards to the target. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that a bit more. If you guys happen to know, though, leave a comment. So with that action being done, uh, that will, uh, let's see, who's the next pilot up on the list? The TIE Bomber is the next one. So go ahead and resolve his movement. One forward, green. green. All right. Moving along at a snail's pace. He go. does not have any abilities. Okay, no abilities that you can use right now? No. Okay. All right, now you get an action with that. I would use an evade. You're going to use, do you have an evade? Yeah, I will use my marksman ability. What's your marksman ability? Action. When playing, the, when attacking this round, you may change one of your um, focus or focus results to a critical zone, and all of the focus results turn to attack. Okay, so basically, it's like your focus action, except you can change one of your focus results to a critical hit. So I'm just gonna, just to remind myself, I'm going to go ahead and put that card there, just so I know that you're going to be using that. And uh, finally, we have the TIE Interceptor and the X-Wing. Now, both are at a pilot skill of 9. And from what I was reading, um, you have to determine who has the initiative. The person with the initiative is the one with the lowest squad point cost at the beginning of the round. Um, however, because we're both tied, 75 to 75, the Imperial player gets initiative. That means he gets to take his actions first. Um, that means we'll, he will get to move first, but that also means he'll be able to shoot first uh, during the combat phase. At least, that's again, that's how I'm reading it in the manual. So you can go ahead and resolve that movement with the TIE Interceptor. I'll get the advantage on the movement part, but he'll get the advantage on the combat part. Two, straight ahead, green maneuver. Okay, so we've got two, up we go. And you get an action with that. What action are you going to choose? Evade. Evade token? Yes. Two. All right. Now, finally, my X-Wing. I'm going to go ahead and resolve his action. He moves up three. Oh, I've got it there. Let's go ahead and move that. All right, we're closing in for the kill. All right, and for my action, I think I'll go ahead and use... Um, hmm, I think I'll use a Focus. There we go. All right, now the combat phase. This is going to get rather interesting. Uh, because uh, the highest uh, pilot skill will go ahead and shoot first, we've got a tie for the TIE Interceptor and the X-Wing here. Both are pilot skill of nine. However, like I said, the person with initiative will go first. In this case, it's the Imperials. So Vinny would get to shoot first with the TIE Interceptor. Now, um, in order to measure the range, you have to take the closest part of the base and compare that with the closest part of the base of the defender. Uh, it looks like it's a range one attack, meaning that um, he gets to roll an extra attack dice or attack die. So that means how many? Um, three for four. All right. He has a base attack of three, and he gets to roll an extra one because he's at range one. So go ahead and roll those. All right, so he's got uh, two focus and two regular hits. And I get, let's see what I have here. Wedge Antilles has two defense die. All right, I have one evade and one blank. So that means that I will take one damage. So that means one of my shields um, on my card will go ahead and be removed. All right, now that leaves my X-Wing with a one shield left. He had a total of two to start with. My Y-Wing still has full shields at three. So let's go ahead and resolve this combat action. I'm going to attack, uh, let's see, Night Beast over here. Again, we're at range one, closest base to closest base. So I get an extra attack die. Now, Wedge's special ability is, when attacking, reduce the defender's agility value by one to a minimum of zero. So what is your agility with your TIE Fighter? 
Okay, three. So that means you have to roll two defense die. And my attack is three. So I get to roll an extra attack die because I'm at range one. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these. I've got two attack, or I've got two hits and two focus. I'm going to go ahead and turn the focus and uh, resolve these as hits. Spend that. And your die roll shows one evade. Now you do have an evade token here, so you can cancel out two out of the four of my hits. Now um, let's go ahead and resolve those. So that means you take two hits face down. There you go. How, what's your haul value on your TIE Fighter? Three. So you've got one hit left until uh, you are destroyed. So let's go ahead and move this out of here. Alright, now the next pilot that we're going to take a look at is the TIE Bomber. He has a skill of seven, so he would attack next. Um, just to remind folks here, he is using the marksmanship action. He cannot fire his concussion missiles at me right now because he does not have a target lock. So he's going to go ahead, let's measure this just to make sure we're legit. And the closest base to the closest, so we're at range two. So no extra defense die or granted to me. So that means, what is your attack? Two? two. And yours is two. So mine is uh, two as well. Okay. So go ahead and rule yours. What do you got? Two focus. So basically, actually, no, you've got marksmanship. Uh, when attacking this round, you may change one of your focus results to a critical and one to a regular. So you've done uh, good with this card. You can take this back. Now I've got to roll two evades if I don't want to take any damage. Okay, well, I've got two blanks here. So basically, I'm out one shield. And uh, that uh, shields, let's see, so the critical would be... I would get a critical hit from that. The uh, regular hits are resolved first, if I remember correctly, and then the critical hits are resolved after that. So I would get a face-up damage card for Wedge and Tilly's. All right, now at this, it says, at the start of each combat phase, roll one attack die. On a hit result, suffer one damage. Flip this card face down as an action. So I can take an, an action on a future turn to flip this card face down just to sort of get rid of it. So, yeah, let's just put that face up near my ship just so I can remind myself of that. All right, so that concludes that attack. All right, next up on the list is Dutch Vander. He has a pilot skill of six. I'm going to go ahead and spend my target lock for the Proton Torpedoes attack. Spend your target lock and discard this card to perform this attack. It's four attack dice. Um, I am at range two, and just to show you that. Let's see, let me move this in here without hitting stuff. Failing miserably. All right, so we are at range two. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll four attack dice for this. I have to spend my target lock. Alright, so there's four there. Alright, so I've got three hits and a focus. Change one of your focus results to a critical hit. You've got two uh, focus and one blank. Now, yes, <laughs> you can use your focus token to change those two evades. However, um, three... The, critic, or the two hits cancel out by the two evades, but you still got a critical hit. So, in effect, Night Beast is destroyed. So we'll go ahead and remove him from the table. And my Proton Torpedoes card gets discarded. Alright, now at this point in the game, uh, Night Beast would have gone next with a pilot skill of 5. He would have attacked, but he is no longer with us. So that means we're going to have to start cleaning up here. We've got uh, two target locks. Uh, the X-Wing was targeting Night Beast as well, so those would obviously go away. And so would this unused evade token. Now we'll move on to the movement phase of the next round. We'll go ahead and plan our moves off camera. All right, so we went ahead and picked our maneuvers off camera. Uh, movement phase, starting with the pilot of the lowest skill. That would be uh, Dutch Vander. He has a, a pilot skill of six. 
So we'll go ahead and uh, this is one to the right. It's a green maneuver. It's a slight right. So we'll go ahead and move that first. All right, now I do get an action. I will go ahead and uh, initiate a target lock. Uh, who do I want to attack here? I think I'll attack the TIE Interceptor, or put a target lock on the TIE Interceptor. So let's go ahead and do that. A and A. Now, again, Dutch Vander has that special ability. Um, after initiating a target lock, uh, with a friendly ship of range 1 or 2, which I'm within range, obviously. I can go ahead and get a target lock on the same ship. So let me do that. Okay, and that would conclude uh, the Y-Wings movement for this particular round. Next up, we have the Thai Bomber. He is the next uh, highest pilot skill at 7. What do you got going there? It's a 2 straight ahead, huh? All right. So you're coming at me. All right, now this may end up being a collision. Let's see what we got. All right, now in this case, this is a collision. So I have to move it to the spot right um, next to my Y-Wing. You forfeit the ability to get an action this turn as a result. And we cannot attack each other um, at this particular part. So that will conclude that particular movement. Next up, we have uh, the two pilot skill of nine. Again, the Imperial player has initiative, so they'll go ahead and move first. All right, what do you have going on here? A three, three. curved? Yeah. All right. So that will end up going this way. Not going to be perfect, but you get the idea. All right, let's go ahead and move these along with it. I'm going to use an action called boost. Okay, so you're going to use an action called boost. One more. All right, so that means the boost, what, which uh, boost are you going to do? This one. All right. So you're going to use the boost action to nudge your ship in this direction by one. All right, awesome. And finally, uh, the X-Wing will go ahead and move last. Um, I have him moving curved to the right at one. Now this is a green maneuver. And as such, my R2-D2 card does kick in. And that reads, after executing a green maneuver, um, you may recover one shield. So I'm going to go ahead and add a shield. And for my action, I'm going to go ahead and um, flip this damage card face down. Again, I had this uh, face up damage card from uh, the prior round. I can spend an action to flip this card face down so I don't have to roll for damage um, during the beginning of the combat phase. All right, now I purposely moved the TIE Interceptor off camera because the TIE Interceptor is facing the wrong direction to actually attack anyone. So um, I really can't attack it during this round. Um, I am out of range to use my Ion Cannon um, on my Y-Wing. I need a range of at least one or two, and it is at range three. So I'm going to be focusing on this TIE Bomber here. Now with that being said, um, the X-Wing would go ahead and shoot first because he has the highest pilot skill. Um, I am at range one, obviously. The firing arc just meets, uh, yeah, that crosses the base there at range one. So, as an attack, I get, uh, let's see here, three attack plus one is four. So I get four attack dice. Let's go ahead and roll that. All right, now I got one attack. I have no focus, so, uh, okay, two blank. Wow, that was unlucky. All right, so that means that I would get... Actually, um, it wouldn't have mattered. Wedge Antilles has an ability, when attacking, reduce the uh, defending player's agility uh, to uh, an, an minus one. In this case, he rolled two blanks, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, so he'll take one damage, so go ahead and put a face-down damage card next to your TIE Bomber. Now, what's your hull strength on your TIE Bomber? Six. You got a six on your TIE Bomber. Okay, so I've got some work to do, apparently. 
All right, the um, next one up is the, uh, who's the next highest? The TIE Bomber is at seven. All right, now after um, realizing that these guys have collided, they cannot target each other. So both the TIE Bomber and the Y-Wing will not be able to attack each other this turn. So we'll go ahead and skip that combat there, and um, we'll go ahead and perform cleanup. The target locks remain where they are. There are no unused evade tokens or anything like that, so we'll go ahead and call that around. All right, movement phase, starting with the pilot of the lowest skill, which would be Dutch Vander. So we're going to go ahead and resolve his. He is going to do a 4K uh, turn. So we're going to go ahead and move this up by four and turn him about face, like so. Let's move that up to match. And because that was a red maneuver, he's going to go ahead and receive a stress token. Now this means that I won't be able to perform an action with this character while he is stressed, so I'm going to have to leave him like that. Um, next up is the TIE Bomber, I believe. I'm doing a 5 U-turn. 5 U-turn. K-turn. <laughs> Close. Okay, so 5 K-turn. Now, I believe this will also, that is a red maneuver that will stress you out. A lot of K-turns here. So you'll get a stress token for that. There's your stress token. And let's put that over there. Next up, we have, um, again, we have two pilots at nine. Initiative goes to the Imperial player. So let's go ahead and resolve yours. You've got a two going to the left. It looks like a hard turn to the left. It's a green maneuver. It's... Oh, it's a slight left? Yeah. All right. It's this way? Yeah. All right. Target locks follow. And you get an action to go along with that, although I don't know if you really need it at this point. Yeah. Uh, what, just to go with the rules, what folk, or what, um, uh, what action do you want? Evade. Evade? Okay. <laughs> All right. And finally, we have the X-Wing. We'll go ahead and resolve that. That's a 4K turn. Target lock follows, and I receive a stress token. That was also a red maneuver, and as such, I can't get an action for that particular movement turn. All right, now no one was in range of combat, so we skipped the combat phase. We went ahead and cleared away the unused evade token on the TIE interceptor. So we've already planned our movements for the next phase. So with that being said, the lowest uh, pilot is Dutch Vander. I have him going forward at two. That's a green maneuver. Now, because that was a green maneuver, that removes the stress token. And for my action, I think I will go ahead and play, I will play a focus. All right, next up for movement, we've got the TIE Bomber at a pilot skill of seven. So you're going to go ahead and resolve that. One straight ahead. In green. That is a green maneuver. So the stress token goes away. And what would you like to use for your action? I will use my marksmanship. Marksmanship. Go ahead and we'll put mm -hmm. that there. Okay, next up. Um, your TIE Interceptor has initiative. You'll go ahead and move first. E. That is a 3K turn. Yes. Hopefully. I'm going to go off. All right, you got lucky. You didn't fall off the mat. If you did, your ship would have been automatically destroyed, sucked into a black hole, or whatever you want to do. Now that will give you a stress token, so let's go ahead and do that, put these there, and uh, if you, uh, you can't do an action because you're stressed, so we'll end that. Finally, the X-Wing. Hold on, uh, this says the ability when you get a stress token, you sign one focus. 
Okay, well you can put a focus then on Sunterfell. <laughs> Um, not that you'll really be able to use it, but okay. The X-Wing will go ahead and... What is that? Two, Two straight. straight green. I just had it. Two straight? There we go. And it's a green token? It's a green token, so the stress goes away. And the target lock there. And for my action, I believe... I've already got a target lock, so I'll just stick with focus. All right. All right, one thing I forgot to do in that last round, um, because Wedge Antilles, Antilles made a green maneuver, um, he has the R2-D2 card, so he gets to restore another shield. That effectively puts me back at two shields, though I do have one damage to my hull. So I have two shields left and two hull points left for Wedge Antilles. Antilles. I keep calling them Antilles. So, all right. So, combat phase. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, resolve that. Wedge Antilles shoots first. Let's see what range we're at. Two. We are at range two, so no bonus defense die. I get two defense. You get three attack. All right. Now, actually, how much defense do you have? Two. All right, Wedge's special ability is when attacking, reduce the defender's agility value by one. So you get one, one defense die. All right. I got one critical and one hit. You've got one focus. Uh, so that means that... All right, the marksmanship only counts when attacking. So in this case, you will get a... Yeah, you'll get one face-up damage card and one face-down damage card. What's your... F Immediately... All right, ship. Immediately receive one stress token, then flip this card face-down. All right, so you get a stress token. All right, so you've got three damage to your hull on your TIE Bomber. And I believe that will resolve combat phase for the X-Wing. All right, the next pilot up to attack is the 7, uh, the TIE Bomber. Let's see what range. Which ship are you attacking, the X-Wing or the Y-Wing? I want to see both of them. You can't shoot both. No, I want to see both. Oh, all right. Well, both are at range 2, probably. Yeah, range 2, range 2. So both are at range 2. So you're going to attack the X-Wing. Um, I have a defense or agility of two. I do have a focus token, luckily. And go ahead and roll yours and see what you get. One focus and uh, one critical, uh, but you got marksmanship, so you, you changed your focus to that, so you're good. So that's one hit, one critical. I'll go ahead and roll mine. Two evades, I lucked out. So that means that attack is dodged. All right, so finally, Dutch Vander is going to go ahead and make his attack. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack with the Ion Cannon Turret. Uh, basically, with this card, um, attack one ship even outside your firing arc. Uh, it's inside the firing arc, but that doesn't matter. Range 1 to 2. I am at range 2. All right, so I'm in range to use this. And if this attack hits the target ship, uh, the ship suffers one damage and receives one ion token. Then cancel all dice results. I get three attack with that. So I'm going to go ahead and roll three attack dice. All right, I've got one critical and two focus. I'm going to go ahead and switch those over to focus because I have a focus token. All right, one evade. So basically what happens at this point, um, you will get one damage. Two damage. Why two? One evade. Well, no. The uh, ion cannon turret is a special purpose. If this attack hits the target ship, the ship suffers one damage and receives one ion token. Then cancel all dice results. So basically, I succeeded in the attack. You get one face down damage card. Okay, but you also get an ion token. Basically, on your next movement for your TIE Bomber, it has to be um, a particular one, which I'll explain off camera in a minute. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and resolve our movement phase here. Um, again, the pilot with the lowest skill goes first. In this case, it's Dutch Vander. One curved this way. Hopefully I did that. No, we're going to collide a bit. You watch. Okay. It means you can't attack. Now for my action, I will go ahead and do a focus. All right, that resolves that. Uh, next up, your TIE Bomber. However, because of your Ion Token, you have to treat that as a one ahead. It's a white one ahead. So you end up colliding with my ship. Yes. So that would go right here. <laughs> now because that was a white maneuver, the Stress Token stays. The Ion gets removed. All right. Um... Next up, we have the TIE Interceptor over here on the left. I'm going to move four straight. So you're going to go four straight? Yes. Green now. Is that a green maneuver? Yes. All right, so and the stress token is removed. And the action is going to be a boost. You're going to use a boost. All straight. Right. Straight boost S at one. I should be in range with... Alright, you're checking wife. to see if you're in range? Yes. Yes, you are. You are in three range of the... Uh, looks like both. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Good to know. Why? Because. <laughs> <laughs> I can attack you from uh -huh. far range. Being... Now, you used... Um, you get a, a... You used your boost action, so you don't get anything else with that. Um, the X-Wing. We'll go ahead and resolve that. That is a one curved this way. In that. Yes, I am attacking him. And if he might be in two. Well, in at this point, three. you're still at three. But I am not colliding with the TIE Bomber, so I could attack the TIE Bomber if I wanted to. My firing arc is outside of your TIE Interceptor, so I wouldn't be able to attack you there. For my action, I'll go ahead and get a focus. Alright, at this point, uh, the attack phase. Uh, Woody going to go ahead, you're going to attack with this guy. He has the highest pilot skill. He has initiative, so he attacks first before this, the X-Wing does. I will attack the X-Wing. You'll attack the X-Wing. You are at what range? Three, so you get one extra. I get one extra defense die. But you have a focus. That didn't really help. Critical attack and attack. Oh my, okay. I have one focus. I'm going to spend that to um, change that to an evade. So I've got one evade. That cancels out one of the hits. So I've got a critical and a regular hit to resolve. I've got two shields, so there goes my shields. I don't get any damage. Nope, I have two critical. shields. No, I got the, the, the shields cancel out criticals too. Oh, I thought uh, critical, you still get the critical damage. Nope. Nope. What happened? I get, I lose two shields. That's it. So now I'm shieldless. That's weird. I thought, you, I thought a critical would stay there. Nope. It's critical. No, because my shield deflected it. True. True. <laughs> okay. Um, so that attack. I mean, that did work. I mean, oh, now I'm shieldless, so my next attack, I could be in trouble. Um, next up to attack would be my X-Wing. I cannot attack the TIE Interceptor, but I can attack the TIE Bomber. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm at range 1, definitely here. So I get an extra attack dice. You get to roll one defense die, because remember, Wedge and Tilly's ability is at... That means you def your defense or agility goes down by 1. I'm new. I lost. Uh, well, if I, I could make a bad roll here. It's possible. I lost. All right, two hits, one evade. So that means um, one attack got through. That's a face down damage card. How many face down damage cards? Five. Card? Five. And your tie bomber has how many? Six. Six. All right, so you're still one. in the fight. You're still in the fight. Yeah, but I'm not going <laughs> to. We'll see. 
You're going to use a U. -bomb. And the Y wing and the TIE bomber. Um, actually, your TIE bomber can attack my X wing. My Y wing cannot attack anyone. He is outside the firing arc of this guy. The ion cannon turret must be fired at range 1 and 2, so I can't reach that. He's too far away. But the TIE Bomber can't attack the X-Wing. I can't, because he collided. The TIE Bomber can't attack the Y-Wing, but the TIE Bomber can still attack the X-Wing. Okay, I'll attack the X-Wing. Alright, so what's your attack? Two. Two. And you get to defense that. Actually, uh, you're at range 1, so you get an extra one. Yay! I'll just take this one. Let's see if I can get here to on you. All right, I, I got to roll good on this. Uh, one evade. All right. Ouch. Two attack, <laughs> one focus, and I've got one evade. So, Critical. So I get, a, I get a face up card. You get two damage. This damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> bye bye, X Wing. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, so that goes away. Now my Y Wing's in trouble now. Alright. Two die bomber. A tie bomber and a tie interceptor. That, that you, you get, guys blew me up. How do you get a target lock? Can you do it from any direction? Uh yeah, target locks can go in from any direction. Okay. Movement phase. Uh your nine uh, actually no, the lowest skill gets to go first. So my Dutch moves. Two and to the that way. Banking this direction. And you're not in my type of God. That moves down there. And I will go ahead and my action. Well, I guess at this point I'll do a focus. My turn. The tie bomber gets to move next. Three straight. Three straight. Three, 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 straight. Uh, no. Straight. There, I got it. There it is. Now that, is that a green maneuver? Yes. Alright, so your stress token goes away. I'll use my action. I'll use a target lock ability on your Y wing. Are you, you're in a range 3, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that and that. Here's your dial. And of course, my tiny scepter is going to do this. Two straight. Two, just two straight. Plus, the ability barrel roll. And that will turn the ship that way. Well, what do you mean barrel roll? Barrel roll. Well, which way are you going to go? That this way. way or this way? This way? No, that way. Like, which, which way? That way. Because they can't attack me. Well, maybe I can. We'll see. But you might be in a three range. And maybe. And three evade. That is a... Three. Three. Okay. Luckily, my proton torpedoes are still... Let's go ahead and move that up. All yeah. right, and that concludes... Uh, now, that was a what maneuver? Barrel roll. Oh, barrel roll. Okay, action. Yeah. All right, got it. So we'll move on to the combat phase next. Oh, yeah. All right, combat phase. Um, your TIE interceptor is out of range. The firing arc doesn't work. Next up is your TIE bomber. You're facing the wrong direction. <laughs> so the only one that can attack is my Y-wing. I am at range... Three, the firing arc does work here. Yeah. So I will use my proton torpedoes, spend my target lock. Now this means I get to roll four attack dice. I'm at range three, so it's valid. And let's go ahead and do that. I will Luckily I have a focus. I have three. I have three yep. fade plus one for the set three range. All right. I've got two. Oh, evade. All right, now according to this, you may change one of your focus to a critical. And it is not an effect. Okay, so spend your target lock and discard. The, okay, so actually that did not work out all that well for me. So you evaded that. All right, now before we actually move on to the next phase, I'm going to use R5K6's ability. Basically, that reads, and I know you can't see it. Um, after spending your target lock, roll one defense die. On a evade result, immediately acquire a target lock on that same ship. You cannot spend the target lock during this attack. So, 
hopefully this comes up evade. Otherwise I'm screwed. Damn it. Okay. So, all right. So, now we move on to the movement phase. All right, movement phase. Lowest goes first. That is this guy. It is a turn to the right. It is a two. So least I should And I will go ahead and focus. Still have the target off ability. All right, what's yours? Uh, tie bomber next. Five straight. U-turn. K-turn. K-turn. And that will add a stress token. Let's see if I'm in range. You are not in range. Trust me. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get in range. And your tie interceptor? And is has a three. No. Yeah, three U-turn. K-turn. K-turn. Straight. U-turn. Straight. And I'm in range. Stress token. Two. So you get one defense die. Hold on. We have to end the movement phase. Let's just clear that out. And high All right. Now, because you received a stress token, uh, Sunter Fell's special ability allows him a focus. Yes. All right. So now, with that being done, attack. Uh, your tie interceptor is going to attack my Y wing. Two. It has a range of two. Range of two. So I get one defense and three. Three yeah. attack. This is going to get ugly. Evade. All right, so that's one hit, one critical, but I have um, three shields, so I got one hit, so I lose one shield. I one. And you. Uh, who's next? Your tie bomber. Is out of range. My tie bomb, or yeah, my Y wing can attack. I've got two attack with him. Three now hits. let me just let me figure out what I want to use first. Um, I'm going to use the ion cannon. Range uh, one or two. I'm two. at range two, so I can do that. Three. You just attacked me at range two. How can I all of a sudden be at three? No. Yeah. No, it's it's two. It's two. All right. All right. So we'll go ahead and use the ion cannon. I get three attack dice with this. I get three defense die. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and roll those. I got two attack. You got one focus. That turns to evade, but I, my attack is successful. You get one face down damage card. Um, yeah, that's it. And one ion token. Alright, so let's just remove these since we've used them. And that will conclude this round's combat phase. Okay, um, movement. We'll go ahead and resolve his first. I'm doing a three slight turn. That luckily puts me out of range of your tire interceptor. And that target lock still now for my action. I think I will. Hmm. What am I gonna do here? Oh boy, this is this is hard. Um, I think I'll go ahead and target lock your tie bomber. Wait, you don't have any photon. What do you mean I don't? You don't have photons. I don't need photons to do a target lock. A target lock also lets you roll any number of attack die that you want. Whenever you attack with a primary weapon. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, alright, so, target lock. Alright, so that ends my movement. TIE Bomber gets to move next. Yes, two. Straight. Two straight. Yes. And that's not far. Plus. And don't, don't turn him. There we go. And I am in range. Barely. I know. Stress well, token removed. High ice goes first. Hold on. Relax yourself. I know you want to shoot me out of the sky, but yeah. we're not there yet. <laughs> I want to shoot you out of the sky. The tie interceptor moves uh, last. One straight, apparently. <laughs> One straight, apparently. That removes the ion. 
And the stress stays there because it was a white maneuver. All right. All right. Uh, normally, Sunter fell with a skill of nine would get to shoot first. However, that is not the case because there's no one in the firing arc. The next up is the TIE Bomber. You are at range one probably here. Yes. Yes. You get, but I'll use my secondary because of his ability. When attacking a secondary weapon, you may increase or decrease the weapon range by one to the limit of range to one. What he just said was uh, the TIE Bomber's special ability allows him to use a secondary weapon at range one um, instead of two or three from the sound of it. So he gets to use his concussion missiles on me. Even though they're at range two or three, his TIE Bomber allows him to shoot at closer range. Uh, so we'll go ahead. He gets four attack dice with that. Oh, you get one. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? No. Okay. No, probably not. I have to hope he misses. No black. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Right. Where's the marksman ability? You have the marksman. Okay. <laughs> I turned the thing. Wait, wait. You didn't use your marksman as an action. Yeah, I did. You, what did you use as your action? I didn't use one. I was supposed to do I'll, I'll allow it. In the Plus, spirit of gaming. Okay. This gives me a critical in you. All right. Two criticals. Two hits and two criticals. I have two shields. Yeah. So you that means... Take you. you get two criticals. So I get two... <laughs> All right. Two damage. Wow. Two criticals. Damage cockpit. After the round in which you receive this card, treat your pilot skill as zero. That actually doesn't affect me at all because I had the lowest pilot skill to begin with. Um, immediately choose one of your secondary weapon upgrade cards and discard it. Then flip this damage. All right. Luckily, I don't have any. S yeah, oh wait. You do. I'm oh god. <laughs> wait, is that a secondary weapon? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. Okay. That, I was counting on that so bad. Okay. That destroys, like, that's about three left. You got right. three life points left. Mm-hmm. All right. My dive, Let me go ahead and attack you now. I'm going to discard this, by the way. Your concussion missiles? Yeah, All right. I used it. Now you only I get my three Y wing range. is at range one, so I can attack with three instead of two. I get three. You get three. what's your defense? Y three. Two. Two. Nice try. All right. Um, I've you got. You only get one. Now hold on. I'm using my target lock to target. re roll. Oh yeah, I have to. You use that for your concussion. Let's see All right. if it works. All right, two focus. <laughs> wow. It didn't work. I am unlucky. <laughs> Invade. No damage done. No damage done. Tide Bomber is not defeated yet. No. I sh by rights, I should have had that. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Once I lost my Ion Cannon, I'm, yeah. Scared. All right. Okay. Get to do your... Movement phase. Time. After... I'm going to use my R5K6. After spending my target lock, I can roll one defense die to see if I get a target lock. Evade. I do. On the tie bomber. Yes. But you don't have any target... target Doesn't matter. I can use my primary weapon. Okay. As crappy as it is. All right. Movement phase. I have the lowest pilot skill. I'll go ahead and move 4K turn. Uh, is that going to go off the ship? No. Oh, you're, you're not going off the edge. If you did one more, you'd be going off the edge. Mm hmm <laughs> I get a stress token for that. And, uh, and let's go ahead and move that. Back. Where is mine? I don't know. Where is yours? Where is your TIE Bombers? I don't know. Does it sit right here? There. It was right there. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, it's in my hand. You have a 5K turn. Here. Let me just that first. Uh, I might be in range. Okay. I don't think so. Barely. Um, closest to closest, yes. Technically, that's in range. But Stress you, token. But you get one, you get two defense dies. And your tie interceptor, three ahead straight. 
you know, get rid of that. What does he have? How do you... I got the barrel you can uh, turn around. No. I'll use the uh, bar uh, boost. Boost? I'll do it that way. So... Sh this turn. way? Yeah. Now I can turn the ship around. Please. Alright, so now we have the attack here. Tie bomber goes first. I'll attack because it's a three. You get two. I, I get um, two attack or I two defense die. Two attack. Go ahead. Wow, one attack. I need a defense real bad. I got an evade. All right, I'm good. I'll attack your tie bomber. I get two, two attack. Two defense. Two defense. I will re-whirl with my target lock. Wait, how many you got there? You got one. You got. Zero focus. I got, you got one focus, one evade. Spending target lock. I need one hit. One hit. Yes, one hit. Your tie bomber has six damaged cards, so he is gone. Darn it. All right. The only who can win is him. Yeah, well. He only has one damage card. It's going to be close. He only has three attack, too. And movement phase. We'll go ahead and resolve these two straight ahead. Remove stress token. Oh wait, before you move, I want to see if I'm in range for my action. No. Alright. Okay. And you're going to do a K turn. You're going to add... A stress token. And that also lets you add a focus, but you're not really going to be able to use it this round. Yes. Alright, so that, uh, no combat, and that concludes that movement phase. Okay. Alright, movement phase. Um, I move first, two straight. And I don't think I'm in range. I will go ahead and use a focus. What are you going to do? Four? Yes. And because I can do this, I'll do the barrel. You're actually. Barrel roll that way. Barrel roll right. that way. So I just. So I get in range. And it is a range of. Three. Now hold on. Closest to closest is two. Three. Technically on the starting. Two. No, base. These. these yeah, two. All right. So you removed that without. You still had a stress token. No, you had a stress token. You couldn't do a barrel roll. You yeah, per, you performed a white maneuver. Wait, really? No, was that a green that you? Performed? Yeah, four. Oh, okay. So you. I keep forgetting the Tyner Scepter has that four straight green. Okay, so that removes that. And all right, so. You're going to attack me now, I take yeah. it? Yeah. Alright, now the camera shut off on us, so you didn't see this exchange of fire, but for the most part, um, he attacked me, I attacked him, um, neither of us did damage to each other, and we are now planning our movement phase. Alright, movement phase. Three straight ahead. And what do you got? Five. Well, first, let me do my targeting, or my action. You're, we're not actually touching, so I'm going to do a targeting lock. All right, now what are you going to do? You're doing a 5K turn. All right. And that adds a stress token, but your ability lets you have a focus. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, as a result, you get to attack. You're at range I get two. two. So I get three attack die. Three and attack. I get uh, one. All right, this is going to be over quick. One damage, two folk. You've got a focus token, three hits, and that eliminates me from the game. Good job, congratulations! And there you have it, our first official recorded play session in which uh, Vinny beat the crap out of me. Um, now, to be fair, it was a pretty close game, but once he took out my X-wing, I didn't stand a chance. And it didn't help matters that he took out my ion cannon on my Y-Wing. Um, that was my last resort um, 
to really turn the game around, but uh, the cards and the dice were just not in my favor. You can check out my review at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com, or you can click on the link in the below descriptions that'll take you there as well. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.